Yo, 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 it's your boy Felix, and welcome back to another interesting episode on Tough of FX. And today I'll be analyzing the Tesla stock. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the market. So, the first thing I always do whenever I'm analyzing an asset is to I always go to the highest time frame. So, at the highest time frame, I can see the overall picture of the market. So, like, I can see the overall structure of the market. So, we only see the market in three phases either the market is making higher highs, higher lows, or lower lows, lower highs or the market is moving within the range in this case the market has making higher highs and higher lows because you can see this was a high then before a, a low down here then a high then a low a high this low is higher than this low this high was higher than this high similarly this high also is higher than this high so the market was making higher highs higher lows when a trend so guys when we have a trending market you can you can always draw an alert wave within a trending market and the alert wave occurs in five wave patterns so you can see there's a first wave second third fourth and fifth at the end of the five wave pattern what could come next are two scenarios the first one is either you get a retracement so you get a retracement which is an a b c pattern a b c pattern at the end of at the end of the retracement what comes next is a five wave pattern so a continuation of the uptrend at least the break of structure this is the first scenario. So the scenario, the second scenario you can get is is after an uptrend, which is the five wave pattern. What comes next is a complete different trend, which is a reversal. So a reversal. So you get a reversal that leads to the break of this previous structure. So it leads to the break of this structure down here. So what happens that in an uptrend, at the end of the uptrend, which is the five wave pattern, which is an alert wave, what comes is either you have a reversal, which like with the five wave pattern, so a new trend, formation of a new bearish trend. So that why it's, it's called the reversal that leads to the break of the previous structure. Or you could get a five wave pattern, and at the end of the five wave pattern, you get a retracement that doesn't lead to the break of this structure. But instead, it leads to a continuation and breaks of higher structure, which like probably break of this higher structure. So I will try to implement this idea on this um, chart pattern. So right now I could see that the market has making higher highs and higher lows. So this was a so this was a high the first wave. A high, this was a high first wave and a low second wave. A high third wave, a low, the low. Oh, and this is the fifth wave because this is an uptrend but this is a trending market and uh, like i said always go to the highest time frame in this case i'm on the month i'm on the 12 month time frame i think um, trading view offers up to 12 months so anything from daily down to the monthly time frame i'll, con I'll consider like a higher time frame including the weekly time frame so uh, i'm on the 12 month time frame but this time frame only gives me the direction and trading on this time frame covers a lot of pips because I'm on the 12 month time frame. So what I have to do is to scale down to the lower time frame and try to see the internal structure, which is the factors of the market. So I'll go down to the um six month time frame. I could see the structure properly. You could see there's the um end of the third wave, the fourth wave, and the fifth wave. So I'm gonna go down to the three month time frame. So you guys, guys you can see um this was the first wave first wave second wave third wave fourth and fifth and fifth wave so this so guys at the end of the five wave pattern what comes is either a retracement or a reversal like i explained in this my diagram uh, down here you can see a five wave pattern one two three four five at the end of the five wave pattern, there are two scenarios. Either you get a reversal that leads to the break of this structure, or you get a retracement that just comes a pullback that doesn't lead to the break of this structure and a continuation to the higher trend, which makes it an higher highs, higher lows, which is an uptrend. And like I said, after a five wave pattern, you either get a retracement or you get a reversal. In this case, I don't think this is going to be a reversal because a reversal will lead to the break of this structure, and that will mean that, and that means Tesla has collapsed or has crashed. And for me, I, th I think it's impossible because Tesla that worth over a trillion dollars. If it's a retracement, we have to expect an ABC pattern. And at the end of the ABC pattern, we have to get a continuation of the uptrend. 
So in this case, we could see already that this is like the shape of the ABC pattern. You could see the A, B, C. So this is A, B, C. And like I say, once you have an ABC pattern, which is a correction pattern, there are two scenarios you can see the ABC pattern. Either you have, um, which is an ABC pattern, the fractals of the ABC pattern, there are two ways you can see you can see it by observing the fractals. Within this structure, you have the fractals within these structures. So the A wave could either be a five wave pattern or a three wave pattern. So the first scenario you can see that the A wave is the five wave pattern. The B wave is always a three wave pattern. And the C wave is always a five wave pattern. That is the fractals of the wave. And the second scenario you can see this is that the A wave is a three wave pattern. The B wave remains the same as a three wave pattern. And the C wave remains the same because it's always a five wave pattern. So what only changes is that the A wave could either be a, a, a three wave pattern or a five wave pattern. So if I go to the chart down here, what we have is a corrective, is a correction. This is called an A, B, C. So what I expect, this, this, was, this could either be a five wave pattern or a three wave pattern. This is a, a three wave pattern and this is a five wave pattern because it's always a five wave pattern. And this is our center of focus, which is this C wave. Because if we treat this as a retracement, at the end of this C wave, that will lead to a continuation of this uptrend, of this whole uptrend. If we were to treat this as a retracement, what to expect is a continuation of this uptrend. So what to expect is if also another five wave pattern that will lead to this break of this higher structure. Because it's, an, it's a, a retracement, and now, but that up, but that uptrend will only occur at the end of this C wave, which is a five wave pattern. Now, so at the end of the C wave, we'll be planning on buying this asset because it's just a retracement. At the same time, whenever you're thinking of buying a trade, you should always buy at the area of this kind of where the market is, is cheap. So, like you can confirm that by using your Fibonacci retracement tool, and you look from any area from zero point five downwards uh, area of discounts so it means the market is, is very it's very cheap at that area from 0 0.5 upward it means the market is at a premium so taking in consideration this whole uptrend we're meant to buy at the 50 percent level of this whole uptrend which is 0 0.5 so anyway down here is where you should be looking for your for your buying opportunity which is like a pui point of interest so because the market is at discounts so the market is cheap so so you buy at a discount where the price is low. So what, what I'm going to write now is that I'm going to scale into the um, lower time frame because this is, a, this is a three month time frame. I need to observe the fractals of this. So this what I'm seeing right now is just a retracement and at the end of this retracement, what to expect a bullish move upward. So I'm going to scale down to the lower time frame. In this case, the one month time frame. I want to count the fractals of this C wave. I'm to expect a five wave pattern. Can't really say anything on it, but I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go scale down to the weekly. So yeah, already I could see this the first wave, a pullback, second wave, third wave, a pullback, fourth wave, and fifth wave. I could also I could also use trend channel to confirm the areas. So this is the trend channel. So you can see this is the third wave down here. The first, second, third, fourth. So currently we're on the fifth wave, the last fifth wave. And at the end of this fifth wave, it's time to that's the rise when you can then take a buy trade. So for someone that wants to buy this market, what what should you do? You can target this area on the break of the structure of 236.25 you can take a buy trade and your target level will be at this area down here the first target level which will be at 413.99 or you can still scale down into this um five wave this fifth wave and try count the fractals and look for 
structures, areas where you think a break of structure will lead to potential uptrend. So on this, let me five, scale down to the lower time frame because I'm on the weekly time frame, which is quite high. Uh, I'm to expect a five wave pattern down there because this is an impulsive wave that is in the direction of the downtrend. So it's an impulsive wave. So I'm to expect a five wave pattern around this wave. So I'm scale to the daily time frame. Uh, you see this is the first wave, second, third, fourth, and fifth wave. We put in different color. So now I, ca I can refine my entry. I can say, okay, on the break of this structure down here, of this structure down here, of 198.45, I will take a buy trade on the break of this structure down here. So now we have to refine the entry from 236.25 to 198.425 because if you see, the market has been making lower lows and lower highs, lower lows and lower highs. And these highs were, have always been protected by the big banks. When I say big banks, I mean commercial banks, central banks. Whenever they shut the market, they always protect the highs of down here. So you can see that for while, for a while the highs never got broken. So it was making lower lows and lower highs, lower lows and lower highs. You know, so if the market is making lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, what to expect after this high is, to, is a lower low and lower high. But if I, instead I see a break of this high, if I see a higher high, or if I see a high that leads to the break of this structure, it means it's a rate is a change of character and means that's a an indication of a trend reversal and said good time to place a trade and where should our target level be our target level should still be at this area down here at 413.99 because why does it down here because this is an area of liquidity there's a lot of money resting down here because the banks they have their stop loss down here and stop loss down here and also you have some um a lot of retail traders that have placed a buy stop order at this area down here so it's a lot of uh, money resting on top of here it's money resting down here change the color so there's a lot of money resting down here you have um the banks with their stop loss down here and second, secondly you have a lot of retail traders that have the buy stop that they hope to like buy this market on the break of this structure so what banks are going to do is that now, what banks gonna do is that when this has gotten a form of support, it's a break of the structure. They're gonna like go in the one, two, take out the guys down here, the the money resting on top of here, take it downwards and upwards. Yeah, so part of my drawing, yeah. <laughs> Take it upward, you know. So they're gonna like take go out there, take out the money resting down here. And they they a lot of retail traders that have the buy stop, so they have the stop loss place around here. So this is an area of liquidity. Come to go upward, take all the money resting up above this area, put it downwards, and use that to go upward. So that was what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do right now. So in summary of my analysis, uh, I go to the highest time from the three months. So in summary, what expects the retracement, which is an ABC pattern. And not a reversal because like i said um the tesla they are worth over a trillion dollars so i don't think they can lose the asset that easily so um so i feel this will be a retracement not a reversal but a reversal will lead to the break of this structure which is a crash in a crash in tesla stock which i don't believe is going to happen due to their investments so what to expect is a retracement which is a three wave pattern which is an a b c pattern and the c wave from the alert wave this is a five wave pattern so um at the five at the, at the end of the five wave pattern now we commence the trend of the next uptrend because it's higher highs and higher lows and these are retracements and your first profit target level will be at this area because this is an area of liquidity this, this was where banks shut the market and so there's a lot of money resting down here and also a lot of retail traders have that buy stop position placed at around this region down here so this should be your first target level then. so uh, so at the end at the end of the c wave pattern which is a five wave pattern by observing the fractals of the of this c wave you have to expect a continuation of 
the uptrend, which could be a five wave pattern, which is one, two. If you take out the money resting around this region where you have um, a lot of buy stop placed by retail, retail traders that hope that on the break of the structure, this market will continue going up. To take them out, it will break the structure, take out the money resting there, go downwards and uh, continuation. continuation of the trend so that was the expert next so what expert at the end of the C wave will be a continuation thank you guys for watching this video if you like what you watch uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you guys in the next episode thank you